Hi, and uh, welcome to Biostock Studio. Biotech Alligator Bioscience is right now uh, offering subscription warrants during the period 5th to 19th of May. We are joined by CEO Sam Regenholt to talk warrants, but also the status of the company in general. Welcome, Sam. Thank you, Cecilia. <clears throat> so, yeah, could you start by describing the importance of, of this warrant exercise? Yeah, absolutely. So, so let's recall that our lead asset, Mr. Salomar, has uh, shown some pretty encouraging phase two data and that we have uh, created a clear path to regula regulatory approval in the indication and that we even also manufactured a drug for phase three. So uh, these warrants and, and the proceeds from them will help us to do two things continue uh, developing meter towards that phase three program and in parallel uh, continue our BD uh, outreach and negotiations uh, with the potential partners for the drug. And if we zoom out a bit and look at the broader financial strategy, how do the warrants fit into that? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's clear that uh, transacting Mr. Salem up or potentially the entire company is uh, the primary focus of what we are doing now. And it's clear that uh, dilu non-dilutive income from that will allow us to, uh, to sustain our operations for, for, uh, for quite a period of time without uh, going back to the investors uh, with, uh, with new rounds and potentially even uh, pay some of the money back uh, from such a transaction to the investors. You mentioned some of the encouraging results for Meta Salim. Could you just summarize the most important <coughs> findings and what the next steps are? Yeah, so metasalumab, we are developing, in, developing it in uh, first-line metastatic pancreatic cancer. And I think the, the, the two key findings is that the drug is safe and well-tolerated in combination with, uh, with chemotherapy. And when you look at survival after, for instance, two years, you'll see that metasalumab increase your chance of uh, survival with up to a threefold. So uh, a significant uh, long-term survival benefit of the drug. And next stage is, uh, as I said, a registrational trial uh, together with a strategic partner. And if we look at your long-term vision for, for this lead candidate, what's yeah. that like? Yeah, I mean, that, that's really interesting because um, uh, first-line metastatic pancreatic cancer is like uh, the lead indication, but you could en envision the drug being used in, uh, in other uh, gastro so-called gastrointestinal uh, tumors like uh, uh, tumors in the liver, tumor in uh, colorectal cancer, for instance, uh, so in the digestive system. And you could probably even see the drug being developed in melanoma and, and, and other uh, indications. But that, of course, requires a strategic partner that has the uh, ability to do that. And that's why we're working so hard with our global strategic advisor to identify such a partner. It's not the easiest of situations for the biotech sector at the moment. So what specific opportunities do you see for, for Alligator to stand out? Yeah, I think we are standing out very, uh, very clearly with the fact that we have a drug with uh, strong data, strong safety, and also a path to approval in an indication like pancreatic cancer. And there is a number of biotech and uh, big biotech and, and pharma companies that have uh, what can we say, gaps in the late stage pipelines. So, and with the recent restructuring uh, we did, Alligator is now, a, what can we say, a, a compact uh, company, uh, which is, could be prone for a potential uh, M&A uh, transaction. And as a final question, what message would you like to send to, to your current, but also potential investors? Yeah, first of all, I, th I think it's important when we look back at, at Alligator, we have uh, a strong, very strong uh, lead candidate. We have delivered uh, high quality data uh, for many, many years and will continue to do so. Uh, and I think right now with, with the current pricing of the, of the warrants uh, and the current potential of Metasalumab and the potential transaction that, uh, that the value is uh, potentially very high. Well, then, thank you so much for coming here today, sir. Thank you.